Figaro, 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 hey, Figaro! You want to shoot crap? <laughs> Still bent on an operatic career, little Larry grows up and gets his first job on a big radio program. Bees Myers is on the air. Ladies, if you really want to save money, visit Bees Myers Bargain Basement Basement. Located directly beneath Bees Myers Bargain Basement. The only basement with a basement. And here is today's beauty hymn. Girls, girls, if you have slender legs and can't get stockings, we suggest you paint them on. For fat legs, we suggest wallpaper. <laughs> and here is another beauty hint from our beauty expert, Mademoiselle Sachet. Bonsoir, girls. <laughs> Tonight, I give you the very latest in egg shampoos. Take one egg and burl it. <laughs> then pour out a half cup of milk and leave it stand until it coils. Have you got that? Burled egg coiled milk. Rub this thoroughly into the scalp, and after one application, you'll notice that your hair will come out wavy. Well, anyway, it'll come out. <laughs> and now, Beesmeyer's Bargain Basement Baritone brings you an important message. You won't find Kleenex at all. Oh, you won't find nylon anymore. And if you don't come here today, you won't find me because I'm in 1A. So, our hero appealed to his draft board and was reclassified from a 1A-er to a 4 -er. 4 4-er being a small town in Italy. <laughs> Uh, there he became known. There he became known as the singing doughboy. Me, 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 me. Hey, hey, me, quiet, me, Tibbet. Here comes the colonel. Me, me. Company, I need a brave man for a desperate mission. I'll give you a brief rest to the side. Which one of you will volunteer? Me, 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 me. All right, all right, you. Who? Me? <laughs> Our hero returns home and romance enters his life. Alone with the girl of his dreams, he holds her closely and whispers in her ear. Give me a kiss, a kiss is what I want. One kiss from you means this for two. Oh, kiss me, just give me one little kiss. That is what you are to do. A kiss is what I miss. Give me a kiss. I want a kiss, kiss, kiss. Well, shut your kisser and I'll kiss you. But Lawrence never did kiss her. Why? The lights went on and he got a look at her kisser. <laughs> And now is a fitting climax. We take you to Lawrence Tibbetts' debut in Carnegie Hall, New York. By the Elmo Mines, a girl, all the canis spread to the sea. There's a Burma girl setting. And I know she thinks of me. For the wind is in the 
Can't you see it? You sing at Carnegie Hall and then at the Metropolitan Opera House. Oh, it'll make a great picture. And that song was really wonderful. Gosh, when I hear you sing, I feel like a rank amateur. Oh, Eddie, don't say that. I've been listening to you ever since I started singing, and I think you're even a little better. Better than you? No, better than a rank amateur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, don't encourage them, fellas. Well, at least my songs have meaning. The words say something. Now, take that song you just sang. It's silly. On the road to Mandalay. On the road. Who can get gas? What are you talking about? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. All words should have meaning. No one should speak unless they have something important to say. Well, Eddie, you're absolutely right there. And I uh, have something important to say right now. Well, go ahead, Harry. Ladies and gentlemen, any morning you wake up feeling headachy and out of sorts due to the need of a laxative, just take a glass of sparkling sal hepatica. For speedy sal hepatica helps you feel better faster by bringing quick, gentle relief, usually within an hour. So take sal hepatica right away. Don't wait till night, and don't risk feeling miserable all day. And remember, sparkling sal hepatica has this additional advantage. This famous saline helps sweeten an upset stomach by helping to reduce excess gastric acidity. So tonight or tomorrow, get a bottle of sal hepatica from your druggist. Remembering this caution, use only as directed. Then whenever you need a laxative, morning... <laughs> Noon or night. See how much faster you feel better when you take gentle, speedy sal hepatica. Say, Eddie, yep. about that picture you want me to make for you. You know, I don't think the public will be interested in the story of my life. They want something with drama, pathos, suspense. Larry, if I can find an author who can write such a play, I'll hire him right away. I'll offer him fame. I'll offer him glory. Well, Eddie, he'll also want dough. Dough. Dough? How do you do? It's <laughs> Craig Gordon, the unmad Russian. Russian, tell me, how can you, how can you possibly help us when you know nothing about opera? Don't be so unanimous. <laughs> I always used to sing with Lawrence Tippett. Ah, how I wish he was here now. Russian, I am Lawrence Tibbet. Hmm, shall we sing? <laughs> Russian, if you're a playwright, what, what plays have you ever written? Did you see Oklahoma? No. Can you get me two tickets? No. Oh, <laughs> no. Say, say, Russian, I'm looking for an opera that will live. Have you seen any of Shakespeare's plays? Of course. I saw As You Like It. Well, how was it? I didn't like it. <laughs> Russian, what experience have you had with opera? For six years, I was on the payroll of the Moscow Opera Company. Yes. Every week, I was getting a good salary until I made the greatest mistake of my singing career. What did you do? I sang. <laughs> Russian, since you've become an author, tell me, does it take you long to write a play? Mm, no, not if I'm in the mood. Well, of course. You see, yeah. I put a bottle of brandy on the table, yeah. a piece of paper in the typewriter, start typing, and in no time, it's all finished. The play? No, the brandy. <laughs> oh, would you stop? Say, Russian, can you write an opera for me with great music like... You feel all right. Oh. Sure, <laughs> He feels all right. Of course he feels all right. He's singing in Italian. Can't speak English, eh? Speak English. <laughs> Russian, you're clowning, and Mr. Tibbet is anxious to sing in my picture. That's nice. Yes. Say tidbit. Tibbet. 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 Say tibbet. Tibbet. You keep it. I'll keep it. Anybody can keep it. Say, uh, give me an idea of your voice, and I'll tell you what's the matter with me. Yes. Oh, we. Oh, we. Oh, 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 oh,
Hey, how long do I keep this up? Till the rest of the pigs catch up with you. Get away from the... <laughs> Hey, Eddie. Yep. Whether the Russian play, uh, the Russian brings in a play or not, I'd be very happy to star in your next picture. If you want to star, gee, thanks, Larry. But I don't want to star alone. If you can arrange to get somebody to star with me, some young, handsome, glamorous Hollywood personality, my cup would be brimming over with joy. All right, Larry, I'll star with you. All right. Okay. So I'll do it with an empty cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see us now at the climax of the picture in the spotlight. Singing something that would make every opera lover leap to his feet with yells of Bravo! Bravo! Yeah. yeah. 